So welcome back to the channel everyone, Triple M here. Today's video, I'm jumping into 10 reasons why you should not buy an Amazon Fire TV stick in 2024. So if you guys have been subscribed to the channel for a while, you know that the Amazon Fire TV stick has been a staple on this channel. It's easy to set up, easy to use. Also, normally it's on sale, but in 2024, there's a couple reasons why you should not pick one up. So we're gonna jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So let's go ahead and kick it off at number 10. Number 10 is gonna be Wi-Fi issues. Now this is not gonna be issue for all models, but some of the earlier models leading all the way up to the Fire TV Stick 4K. A lot of reports have been coming out that Wi-Fi is laggy or spotty on these devices. Now this could be because of a number of reasons. You have it placed in a location that's not close to your router or the fact that the Fire TV Stick is designed to be behind your television set. That can cause interference and therefore make the Wi-Fi I have low performance issues. Now I have experienced some of this on earlier models, but with my 4K Max, I haven't had this issue. Number nine is gonna be storage. Now the Fire TV stick is gonna have eight gigs of storage. Now when you take that into consideration that operating system is gonna take over a couple gigs, we also gonna have applications that's installed by default. When it's freshly set up, you might end up with two or three gigs worth of storage. And this is gonna be shared for your applications that you install as well as any media that you have on your device. So on the Fire TV stick, a lot of complaints, storage runs out very fast. And of course, this is gonna depend on usage. Now, depending what Fire TV stick you have, most of them is gonna have two gigs of RAM. And what that means is that when you open multiple applications or applications that's just really demanding on your device, we can see that this device can either get really sluggish or it can overheat. Again, this is gonna depend on which model of the Fire TV stick you have. Some of the newer models with Fire TV stick 4K Max don't have that issue, but Again, going back to the 4K, the HD, a lot of these Fire TV stick have been reports that they get sluggish, especially when they get hot. The lack of ability to customize your Fire TV stick because it is pretty much locked down. So the Fire TV stick, we all know that it runs Fire TV OS. It is a familiar look. However, this can get dated. And for some folks who want to switch it up, Amazon has started to block launchers so launchers was a way for us to customize our fire tv to give it that look but amazon is seeing that when launches are installed ads can't be displayed on your fire tv stick and they've really made a conceited effort to just block any launcher that's installed on your fire tv stick so again that's one of the biggest complaints just not the ability to customize your fire stick amazon is known for flashing ads at the top of your Fire TV stick as soon as you log in. And it's got even so bad that as soon as you log into your Fire TV stick, video will start playing with sound and it'll advertise movies or whatever they want to push up there. But this gets really annoying. So yes, you can go and disable some of the setting, the auto video playing setting and the, the sound that comes with the video, but you can't really completely get rid of it. And not to just blame this on Amazon, this is the same issue with your Google devices, your Roku devices. We're starting to see that ad is becoming a reason they're able to offer these devices at, at such a low price uh, because it supplements their income. So ads and tracking is another reason why the Fire TV stick is less desirable in 2024 the push and the crackdown on third-party applications. So over the past 10 years or so, I've seen so many changes from Amazon and there's a push to hide the ability to install your third-party applications. And it's just a matter of time before they take that away. So we've seen menus change. We've seen where you had to click on certain things to, to allow developer options. We've seen so many changes. We've seen them push automatic updates that disables this feature. So that's another thing to, to keep in mind that yes, it's available now on the Fire TV stick, but in the near future, I see them taking that away completely. So we did talk a little bit about Wi-Fi issues, but if there was an option to wire your Fire TV stick, I'm sure a lot of folks would like that. So not everyone is gonna have great Wi-Fi where you can just connect your Fire TV stick to your TV, connect your Wi-Fi and start enjoying your content and the fact that it doesn't have a backup option built in where you can plug in your usb cord 
is a deal breaker for some people. So yes, I know you can use an OTG adapter, but again, that's another piece of equipment you have to buy. And the fact that that's gonna be limited to 100 megabits per second is not very attractive to a lot of people. So ethernet port is one of those requests for a 5 TV stick upgrade. Number three is gonna be no USB port. And again, this is gonna be similar issue to the lack of ethernet port. You can't get a USB port by buying an OTG adapter and plugging it in and then using it that way. But again, another equipment you gotta buy, more money you have to spend. And the fact that it's not built in here in 2024, it's kind of ridiculous in my opinion. So with the lack of a USB port, you can't directly connect to your apps. You can't connect your media. You, you can't plug in remotes or devices that uses a USB dongle. So yes, you're gonna be limited. And I don't know if Amazon is ever gonna include this on their Fi TV state. We're hopeful here in 2024. Number two is the fact that Amazon is going away from Android and they're gonna push their new operating system, their in-house operating system, Vega to Amazon devices is a deal breaker for a lot of people. So yes, this is happening. The confusion is whether it's gonna to happen to older devices or just newer devices that's being purchased. But Amazon essentially is ditching Android. They'll go with their own operating system. And with this operating system, the ability to install third-party applications is going to be gone so keep that in mind if you're in the market for a 5 tv stick in 2024 and the number one reason to ditch or not to go out and grab an amazon 5 tv stick is that there are better devices out there so i've done a couple lists of the best amazon fire tv stick replacement i'll go ahead and link that that video but so many better devices out there and the one that comes to mind is a new on 4k streaming pro this device has a built-in ethernet port has usb port has google assistant built in a smart speaker built in cool looking remote with backlight for some devices and it just checks all the boxes and it's priced around the same as the fire tv stick 4k max so that's my 10 reasons to not go out and grab a Fire TV stick. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. So I'm not hating on the Fire TV stick. I, I still think it does a great job streaming, but I do think the downfall is coming here in 2024. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.